Okay, good morning, it is Friday. We're heading out to Admiral Hill now. I'm doing a FTP test up the climb, so that's 20 minutes max power. We have picked up Maddie today. So we've got Josh and Maddie with us. And then tonight we have to go into the Copthorne and get all the stuff for UCI ready. Pick up the kit, team managers meeting, all that stuff. And shit, they're way ahead of me now because I just stopped. So I'm gonna catch them up and now I've got 20 minute effort up Admiral. Okay, so I've just finished my 28 minute effort. I'm at the first summit, so it comes up to here, drops down and then up in the finish. But I'm absolutely cooked. So I'm gonna head down, find Josh and Maddie. That was so hard. There's loads of teams coming up here at the moment. You might see on the GoPro footage. And that's because the second stage of the UCI tour comes up here, finishes right at the top. Before you get smashed. Woo. Come on, do some cow. See, they have this mint skill. They go into a ball and then you just roll them off the road and they're safe as. See, foils are good for everything. Yeah, foils. Foils, we're looking after nature. <laughs> Head job relocation program. Yeah. Right, oh, little man, you're on your way. Just hang out in there. You don't see oh. zips relocating hedgehogs. Yeah. I can probably do it. Foil wheels are supporting the hedgehog relocation program. <laughs> We like looking after hedgehogs as they move around. So I've downloaded the power for my FTP 20 minute effort and I got a record. I did 200 and, yeah, hold on. 288 watts for 20 minutes, which is pretty good for me. Set a record, I also set my five, six, 10 and 15 minute records up there. I still reckon if I'd paced myself and I'd gone easier in the first 10, that I probably could have got harder. But yeah, I was pretty, pretty screwed by the end. Where even is my bike?
Oh yeah. Trust house team. Anything on the back? Oh, you have to have an area on the top. Yeah, because oh, we got the radio. There'll be a radio inside. She's all sitting up. Oh, where's the radio? Oh, yep, yeah, there's the radio. We haven't actually got the little uh, speaker bit though. Yeah, they, you don't give them to them. Only like yeah. two cars have them. And then in the morning we'll get like a number. random drawer of number and that goes there. Oh, yeah, the old trust. The trust house Kia. These are Josh's foil 38s. These are the clincher versions with tubeless tires. They're pretty, pretty cool race wheels. But this, these are pretty light and they're only the clincher versions. If you get the tubeless versions, the tubular versions, they're bloody light. If you want to go and get yourself, I roll the foil 50s. But if you want to get yourself a set of foils, go on to foilwheels.com, use the discount code cycling tom and then get 10% off and you can get yourself some of these or some 50s or you can get some 80s yeah i think 30 or some 60s they're all pretty good race wheels So, a real special welcome to all our visitors from around New Zealand and particularly overseas. Hosting. Definitely the key to this race is a smart rider. So, we've had a lot of those over the years and uh, you know we've got five up here now. So, yeah, we're ready to rumble. You've raced this race a lot, you know the climbs well. Admiral's Hill on day two, how's that going to change the race, Joe? Oh, it's going to be decisive. Uh, now that it comes so early, you know, you might get a lead, but, you know, the next couple of days will be actually, you know, probably tougher than in previous years, and looks like the wind's up a bit, and, you know, it'll be uh, definitely interesting. <laughs> well, all the very best, mate, and uh, I hope we can see that National Champions jersey near the front, I'm sure. Well, congratulations on a great ride in Napier. Uh, cheers, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, team I'm going to take every opportunity we can. Um, we're all re ready to race and um, give it everything. Have you been here before? <laughs> Where's Michael? I believe, Michael, you're the only past winner in the field. So, uh, you feeling any pressure? <laughs> You're in pretty good form as well. Jack tried to run. He's a local lad, but I was a bit concerned. Last year, you got heat stroke. How can that happen to a local rider, mate? Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> Tim wasn't too happy. He was relying on you to advise the rest of the riders on nutrition and what to do. So, what's the plan for Team Skoda? Obviously, you're not it. No, we just got to it. We just take a step. If I do something for a change in this race, will you? I didn't bring it, mate. I knew you'd be here giving me a bit of shit, so uh, I'll the 32 back in Melbourne. Good place for it. So back for another crack. Uh, your form's pretty good going into this race? Uh, I was good when I left Melbourne, but um, tailed off a bit, but I'm sure I can drop Jack tomorrow, so that's the main thing. <laughs> so it's a GC race between you and Jack, so that's not much of a title. Uh, when his old man puts the rum up, then yeah, she's a, she's a race against the two of us. And the plans for the team? Have you got a target, a jersey, a stage? What's one rider you want to, you know, just stand out on this team? Who do we have to watch out for? Oh, me, obviously. <laughs> I want to want to come up the road and, and talk with you and George, so it's more fun that way. Uh, it gets a bit boring, back in the bunch, mate. 
All right, we'll hold you to that. Remember tomorrow when the flag drops, that means your race. Man, that looks sick. Okay, so today is the day, the 21st of January 2016, where Cycling Tom hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I said I'd do a giveaway, so I think that's what we're going to do now. So comment below what you think it should be. And yeah, thanks for 1,000 subscribers. Now on to the next 1,000. Talk to that here. K Watts. <laughs> That's for fun. K Watts.